Autodesk Power Mill 2019 includes a new setups feature designed to help users to organize the toolpaths contained within NC programs and provide additional functionality to make better use of fixture offsets. Let's start with a simple project that contains a single empty NC program and a selection of toolpaths. To create a setup, simply navigate to the Home tab within the Parmel ribbon and select Create. Note that a new setup entity appears in the Parmel Explorer. In this case, we will rename the setup to be called Setup1. It's worth noting that if a setup is active, any new toolpaths that are created will be automatically added to it. You can avoid this behavior by deactivating the setup. Do this by either double-clicking the setup icon or select the setup with the right mouse button and ensure the active option is unchecked. The next thing we need to do is add toolpaths to the setup. We can drag toolpaths into the setup one at a time or select multiple toolpaths and drag them into position in one go. Note how PowerMill's new insertion marker makes it easier to see where items are being positioned during the drag and drop move. Toolpaths can be reordered using drag and drop too. They can also be removed from the setup by dragging them back into the toolpaths section of the explorer. You may have noticed that toolpaths contained within the setup are no longer displayed within the main toolpaths area of the explorer. This behavior is intentional and helps to avoid cluttering the display with potentially confusing copies of the toolpath. Once a setup has been created and populated with toolpaths, it can be dragged into an NC program. Notice that when we expand the NC program in the Explorer, we see a simple display of the setup and not the toolpaths contained within it. Again, this is intentional and aims to simplify the display seen within Parmil. To change this, right-click on the NC program and select Setup View. We can now see all of the toolpaths. To return to the simplified view, select Setup View again. One of the key advantages of setups is that they are synchronized with the NC programs, meaning changes made to the setup are automatically replicated in the NC program, minimizing the risk of toolpaths being output in the wrong order or NC programs being output with toolpaths missing or duplicated. To demonstrate this, Let's manually drag a toolpath to a different position within the setup. We can see that the setup and NC program both update to show the toolpaths in their new order. By default, any toolpaths added to a setup will be included in the NC program when it is post-processed. We can change this for individual toolpaths by right-clicking on the relevant toolpath within the setup and deactivating the option to Include in NC program. Note that the toolpath icon changes color to indicate this modification. When the NC program is post-processed, this individual toolpath will be excluded. An additional thing to underline is that by opening the setup settings form, users can choose if they want one or more of their toolpaths to be included multiple times in their NC program. To do this, just change the number of runs for any of your strategies, like so. You can notice that my existing NC program has now been automatically updated. Another advantage of setups is that they can be inserted into NC programs multiple times. In this particular example, we will use setups to manufacture four identical parts on our CNC machine tool. We'll achieve this by loading four identical blocks of material onto the table of the machine at predefined positions. Each position will be defined in the machine controller using workpiece coordinates, for example, G54, G55, and so on. Let's continue by adding the setup into the NC program an additional three times. As before, this is achieved by selecting the setup and dragging it into the NC program. Each time we add the setup, we can see the NC program updates to display another instance of it. If we expand the NC program and ensure we're not in setup view, we can see four instances of each of our toolpaths. Now that all of our setups have been added, we can right click on the NC program and select Setup Fixture Offsets. 
A menu appears displaying the list of setups and their fixture offsets, which are obviously all blank at the moment. To define a fixture offset, we can click on the fixture offset list icon. From the menu that appears, we can create a new named offset. In this case, we'll create an offset called G54. Next, we can enter coordinates of X0, Y0 and Z0. We can repeat these to define the other work offsets with appropriate coordinates. Once done, we can close the Fixture Offset menu and return to the Setups dialog. Here, we can select the first setup and then choose the appropriate offset from the drop-down list. So, setup 1 will use Fixture Offset G54, setup 2 will use G55, and so on. When all offsets have been defined, we can draw the NC program and note that the setups and their underlying toolpaths are displayed in their correct locations. Once complete, the NC program can be exported. These were the improvements we have made to programming workflow in Parmel by introducing setups, a new function that gives users more options to order and synchronize their toolpaths and NC programs.